guys, what's up? Welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys tuning in to today's video and I hope everybody's having a good day out there today. And today's video is another subscriber request we're gonna have. And I've actually had this, uh, this same question four or five times over the past couple months. And we're gonna talk about how do you know when it's time to leave an area or stay? You know, how do you make that determination um, if, you if you should change areas or even change techniques? if something's not working. So we're gonna get into that a little bit. Uh, real quick, just wanna give you guys the weekly reminder. If you guys haven't had a chance, please head over and check out our Fish the Moment Lake Map Breakdowns and our Fish the Moment Virtual Lessons. Um, got really good, bunch of good fall maps on, on the uh, website right now. And you can book a virtual lesson uh, on the site too, cover any topic that you wanna talk about or any lake you wanna talk about, much appreciated. Okay guys, let's talk about this. This is one of the, the most, um, it's, it's one of the most challenging questions that you're going to have in fishing. It's one of the most challenging aspects of bass fishing. It's like, when do you change up? And there's, it's, there's not one answer to it. There's not an easy answer to that. So, but I'm going to give you guys sort of a foundation on just how to go about it initially. And maybe you can make some modifications with it. There's two elements that you have to consider when you're not catching fish. Number one is that the lure that you're using or is it the area that you're fishing? And sometimes it can be a combination of the two, but specifically what we're gonna talk about today is, is lures and areas. One of the things that you have to sort of formulate before you can really make a determination on what the best lure choice is, is you've, you've gotta get a fundamental understanding of seasonal patterns and seasonal movements of bass and the type of lures that they work good. But let's just say, for example, like right now, we're in the fall time of the year, Everybody knows that in the fall time of the year, like shallow running crankbaits are good. Uh, you know, topwaters are good. A lot of people throw buzz baits, some spinner baits, that type of stuff. So let's say that you get into an area of the lake that um, you've caught fishing before. Maybe it's one of your favorite lakes and you go into one of the creek arms there and you know that there's some fish in this area and you're fishing, you know, a crankbait and a spinner bait and a topwater and you're just not catching anything. So at this point, you have to make that determination. Okay, do I change up my lure or do I need to make a move into a different area? The first thing that I do is I, is I make a lure change. And a lot of the lure change depends on how confident I am in the bait that I'm fishing. Say for example, if I, let's just go to the crankbait deal. Say if I'm in an area where I know, you know, you've got 12 inches of visibility and I've got some good wood cover and some rock cover and I've caught fish you know, on this crankbait before, and I can see bait fish in the area, everything looks good. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is make a color change. I'm gonna flip flop it. If I've been throwing a shad pattern, I may, I may put on a perch pattern and try that. And the, the rule of thumb that I give with that is I give it like a, the 15 minute rule. I'll try it for like 15 minutes. And if that doesn't work, I may try a different color or I may try a different profile. I may go to a smaller size or a bigger size try that again for 15 minutes and see if that works. And I'll rotate through a couple different lure categories to see if any of this stuff is working. Now, if I go through, you know, a couple hours worth of changing baits and changing colors and that type of stuff, and I'm just not getting bit, um, that is when I, do, I start thinking about an area change. So let's say, for example, if I'm fishing a creek arm that's got 12 inches of visibility in it and nothing's happening, I may look at the lake and I say, I've got to change something completely different. I'm going to run out on the main lake and I'm going to fish in clear water. And I'm going to go out there and I'm going to throw a shaky head on some points or a Ned rig on some points or a swim bait, something like that. Something that's just 360 degrees different. So if, if that's the case, I'll go give that a try. And every time that I make a move with that, I'm getting closer to finding the fish because the thing that you find out about bass fishing guys, the bass are always biting somewhere and you're gonna catch them. The only variable is how long is it gonna take you to find them and catch them? It's like, I know it's like in my own fishing, you can put me on any lake in the country and I know I'm gonna catch bass. The only thing I don't know, how long is it gonna take me to figure out how to catch these bass? So it's a matter of elimination. It's, a, it's a, nothing more than a process of elim elimination. And uh, just keep hunting, keep practicing, keep trying different things. And one of the, biggest advantages you can use as a as an angler yourself is use your own creativity don't necessarily go by the books don't go by what i'm telling you don't go by what these other guys on youtube are telling you if you've got something that you think might work just 
think and say, hey man, maybe I should try this. I've never heard anybody trying this. Give it a try, because a lot of times that's how innovations are made. That's how new things are came up with. That's how new lures, new colors, all that type of stuff. It's just, it's it's it, it happens because people experiment and try. And that's what you have to do in bass fishing. And so many of the things that I have figured out, like the secrets in fishing that I still haven't shared with you guys yet, is the fact, which I will, I will slowly at some point, I'm giving them out every couple months. But so many of that secrets that I found has came where I've just been out on the lake by myself. And I said, I'm gonna try this for 15 minutes. It's like, I've never heard of anyone trying this winds up working. So anyway, guys, just a few, few thoughts with that. We could go into a lot more detail on that. Um, down here at my mom and dad's place. I gotta do some mowing here. Hope you guys are having a good day. We'll check with y'all later too.